You know, we see it all the time, the promise that skincare makes that it's going to rejuvenate your skin and make it look youthful in like no time. And while skincare products may fall short, your body will not. And I'm going to be telling you about five ways your body can rejuvenate itself for you all in today's video. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert, been doing this stuff 35 years, here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do you more harm than good. And on this channel, we do talk about skincare, but we talk about anti-aging and longevity and wellness as well. So if those are the type of topics that you've been looking for here on YouTube, be sure you hit subscribe and the little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are out every week. Now here's the thing, our skin is in a state of perpetual rejuvenation. But there are things that slow that down. One is getting older. Obviously, metabolic processes can slow down and we can do things to help things like muscles, like workout. But when it comes to our skin, our cells are constantly being replaced. The old ones on the very outside, what we see with the new ones underneath. And that basically happens every 27 days. But again, as you get older, it slows down. And as we get into our 50s, 60s, and onward, it can be as much as 60 days before those skin cells get replaced. So we want to do everything we can to support that process. So let's talk about the five ways that you can harness your own rejuvenation powers. First and foremost is getting enough sleep, but not just any sleep, REM sleep. For those of you who follow me on the channel for a long time, you know I have talked about the importance of getting a good night's rest. For more than just feeling better in the morning, our bodies, in particular our skin, actually go through a rejuvenation process every single night. When we enter that all-important REM sleep, all of the cells, organs, brain tissue cells, blood vessel cells, blood cells, and of course your skin cells are all in a repair and replace mode. Also, as you sleep, your body releases certain hormones that help this process called melatonin. Melatonin production at night is super important, especially to this process of rejuvenation, playing an important role to your skin's exposure from the day before to things like UVA, UVB light, pollutants, and even the stress of your own metabolic processes in your body. When you're not sleeping, you're not in REM sleep, and when you're not in REM sleep, you're not producing melatonin. Also, when we enter REM sleep, the body is actually in repair mode when it comes to collagen. And there are two types of collagen structure in your skin. There's the more permanent fibrous collagen that we're born with and we keep throughout our lives. And then a more thinner, almost liquid-like transient type of collagen that goes and sticks to the permanent collagen, repairing it, almost like plugging a flat tire. This liquid type collagen moves throughout the body and again, shores up all of those permanent fibers giving your skin its resiliency, thickness, and firmness. So whatever stress and degradation that your collagen fibers are subjected to every day, this particular time of sleep is so important because this is when that repair process is happening. So there is definitely a rhythmic nature to the repair process of the collagen in your body, and it has everything to do with how much sleep you're getting. The second science-backed way to rejuvenate your skin and body is by making sure you're taking a targeted beauty or skin care type of supplement. And there are several of these. We talk a lot about them on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, be sure and check those out. I will put links for those videos down below in the video description box. But supplements like coenzyme Q10, astaxanthin, and vitamin K2 with D3 can be extremely helpful in the metabolic processes that occur that help your body rebuild and repair its skin cells. Now I will say here that it's very important when taking these type of supplements to check with your doctor, especially when you're on medications, including blood thinners, because coenzyme Q10 and vitamin K2 can interfere with the effectiveness of those medications. Now, CoQ10 is an antioxidant that's actually already present in every cell in the body. It's particularly concentrated in your mitochondria of your cells, which are what power our cells and help them replicate in a healthy manner. Now, another antioxidant we've talked about here on the channel before is astaxanthin which helps to protect your skin's collagen layer, helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles and H spots, and it really helps with skin hydration. And then there are the wonderful benefits of vitamin K2 plus D3. Now, vitamin K2 is different than vitamin K1, which is one that we see more commonly in supplementation formulas, but vitamin K2 really assists the body in utilizing calcium very well. In other words, it keeps calcium out of places where we don't want it, like our arteries, 
and our brain tissues and keeps it places where we do want it, like collagen fibers, bones, muscles, and of course, hair and nails. Again, this is one that can interfere with blood thinning medications, so you wanna check with your doctor before you start taking it. The supplementation for vitamin K2 and D3 is very easy to find. I will put links down below in the video description box for this and the other products that we talk about in today's video, so you can check it out when we're done here. And finally, under supplementation, let's talk about phytoceramides, which are huge when it comes to rejuvenation, hydration of the outer layers of the skin. This one can help reduce dryness and wrinkles and also help smooth out skin texture, improving hydration, elasticity, and smoothness. And the third science-backed way to help rejuvenate your skin is not gonna be a surprise to many of you, especially those of you who follow me again, is vitamin C serum along with vitamin E. So it's a formulation that ideally contains vitamin C, l ascorbic acid, along with vitamin E, which helps boost and promote the effects, and also F, ferulic acid, all of which helps stabilize vitamin C on the skin and allow it to do the wonderful things that it can do as an antioxidant. Now, because l ascorbic acid vitamin C is considered unstable, it is actually very powerful it's able to neutralize free radicals on content. It also can seep through the lipid layer, which sometimes blocks some of the topicals we use, helping it into the water inside your cell where it can do its powerful, magical antioxidant work. So what does the science say when you take vitamin C and E and even F and combine it into a formulation for the skin? It's able to penetrate the skin cell's lipid layer where it can do the most good, helping to lift out fine lines and wrinkles, helping to even out melanin production, which helps prevent age spots. And of course, it helps protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. And the fourth science-backed way to help rejuvenate the look of your skin has to do with retinoids, but is one of the baseline keystone aspects of any good anti-aging skincare routine, whether that be tretinoin, which is prescription strength, or over-the-counter retinol. It helps speed up cellular turnover, getting those old dead skin cells off where the new skin cells show up sooner. It helps thicken the skin. That's been scientifically proven that it helps support the structure of the skin when it comes to collagen and elastin fibers. And it actually helps boost collagen production. But the biggest thing that it really does is speed up that cell turnover cycle from 27 days back down to 15 to 10 and over time, especially over months and a year, you really can tell the difference in someone's skin who's been using tretinoin or retinol on a consistent basis. Now, it needs to be used at night because it breaks down in the sun and it can make your skin more sensitive to sunlight and it does sometimes require a lengthy adjustment process, but if you can put up with that for a few months, some redness, some flakiness, some dryness, it can really roll back the clock on your skin. Now, if you're sensitive to retinoids and you've tried them before, there are alternatives like Bakuchiol, which again, I will put links to all of those videos down below in the video description box where I talk about retinol and its alternatives, so you can check those out. You can also use the new generation of retinoids like this one, which is retinaldehyde, which cuts out some of that chemical conversion process on the skin that leads to all that irritation. It works for a lot of people who've had trouble using prescription strength or over-the-counter retinols, so certainly something to check out. And the fifth scientifically backed way to rejuvenate body and skin is one of the ones I'm most excited about, and that is the red light therapy and RF therapy or radio frequency therapies that are now available for use in the home. These used to be in-office therapies, They've been in the sports world for years to help injuries when they happened, but both of these modalities are very effective. The different links or wavelengths of red light penetrate the outer layers of skin and warm the deeper layers, tickling that mitochondria again, helping to turn on that collagen production engine. Similarly, RF therapy or radio frequency, which is a sonic therapy, does a similar sort of thing. It moves through the outer layers of skin much deeper, helping to warm those fibers and skin cells again, tickling that mitochondria, helping to give you benefits like thicker, firmer skin, reducing hyperpigmentation issues, and lifting out fine lines and wrinkles. Now, it is not a fast pass to youthfulness. You have to be consistent and you have to use it and it works over time. But within about 90 to 180 days, most everyone sees some really great benefits from red light therapy. And of course, there have been numerous scientific studies on this. This is an FDA approved technology for this type of use. Red light therapies are non-invasive, work on the deeper layers of the skin, lifting and firming it way beyond anything topicals can do. All of these scientifically backed modalities that you can use at home to rejuvenate your skin and body, certainly not everything that we've ever talked about, 
but a really good handful of things that you can do very easily at home. And for more ways to roll back the clock on skin and body aging, be sure and check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching today, supporting the channel. I appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on the next video.